out, check out Doug Ford in the background. He looks kind of awkward, just kind of standing there with his arms out, looking like a mannequin there. Do something with your hands, Dougie. What's going on, guys? I am Max Beaumont. I'm a communication skills coach, and today's video is on the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford. I'm going to be assessing his speaking skills, let you know my thoughts. Yes, I live in Ontario. Yes, I've seen snippets of him on TV, but I haven't really listened for any extended period of time and really given some real thought to his speaking ability. So I'm going to dive into one of his recent media addresses today. I'll let you know what I think, and I hope you enjoy. Ford walks in. Here we go. Well, good afternoon. Yesterday, our province entered the first stage of reopening. Thousands of retail shops opened. Thousands of people are working. First impressions are important. So my very first impression of Doug Ford is he's actually not standing with a whole lot of confidence. I feel like he's kind of standing with his shoulders slouched over just a bit. He doesn't walk in the room commanding presence like we see other world leaders do. And he's coming in with sort of a, it seems like a quieter, sort of reserved disposition. And we'll see. This is just the beginning, but that's my first impression. And we're watching the trends like a hawk right now. Kind of a weird analogy. We're watching the trends like a hawk right now. I'm sure that was written for him. But we need to be ready for all possible scenarios. That's why it's more important than ever that we stay vigilant. The one thing I will say right off the bat about Doug Ford is he does seem sincere in, in his delivery. But we need to be ready for all possible scenarios. That's why it's more important than ever that we stay vigilant. He sort of have a, has a calmer delivery. He doesn't speak with a lot of, it seems like a lot of energy or a lot of enthusiasm. Not that it's necessary, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of, lot of passion or emotion coming from him. I will say though, he does seem sincere. And I think one of the important aspects of a really good speaker is someone who's believable. And, and so far he, he is coming across as someone who does care about his audience. We know more people are taking public transit. And as we continue to open more of the economy, as we weather improves. Little reading error blunder there. As we weather improves. It would be nice to hear him project a little more, but his pacing seems really good and he's clear. And as we start to reopen, we know more people are taking public transit. He's a relatable figure that speaks in, in plain language. Uh, again, stuff is written for him, but it, that's what it seems like. He's not trying to be anyone who he's not. He's just your everyday guy. And I know that everyone is asking, when can I see our family? We can't have more than five people from outside your household right now. We need to keep using common sense. You know, overall, I like his delivery. The most important thing for me that I'm seeing from him is he, he seems to be sincere and he seems to be empathetic and show care and compassion toward us, the people that he's addressing. So I like that. I like that side of him. Um, it would be nice if he spoke a little more off the cuff, just a bit. But again, I guess that's difficult to do when you're addressing the media. You have your, your stuff written for you. It does seem like he is believing what he is reading. So he does do a good job of displaying that. But if I'm reviewing his public speaking abilities and body language being a big part of that, his body language is fine, but it's certainly not displaying that of like, pure confidence in his message. That's what I see. You can understand if someone wants to drop off groceries, throw a ball around with a friend, or help an older parent with chores around the Like this all seems like stuff he would say. I can understand if someone wants to drop off groceries, throw a ball around with a friend, that's the impression I get. This is all stuff that Doug Ford would actually say. This is the language he would use, and this is the tone in which he would deliver it in. So that's, for me, probably the biggest mark of being a good speaker is someone who is sincere, someone who's true to themselves, authentic, if you will, someone who displays a level of care, compassion to the audience or for their audience, and someone who can deliver their message clearly. And I think overall he does, a, he does a good job at that. And I can't stress this enough. To stop the spread of this deadly virus, the best line of defense is staying two meters apart. And we will get through this. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Okay, good job Doug Ford. Overall, final thoughts. Delivers his message effectively, does a good job. Does he display the most confidence in the entire world? 
Probably not. Uh, other than that, I think he delivers the message that he needs to deliver. He does it in a sincere, believable way. Again, most important thing, believable, realness. He does that. Uh, he seems somewhat composed. And definitely, overall, I'll give him a thumbs up for his public speaking skills. Good job, Doug Ford. If there's anyone else you'd like me to analyze or take a look at, please let me know. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing all sorts of communication videos, analyzing different people, getting into their different styles, what we can learn from them. And I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again. I'm Max. Have a great day.